with lives, you can't get them back. Once they're lost, it's over. Imagine if someone in your family was hurt in an accident and then had to wait almost an hour for an ambulance. Well, that's what happened right here. The driver, a 90-year-old woman. All new tonight, city leaders in Buffalo demanding some answers to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin on the story. She's live on Hurdle Avenue tonight. That 90 year old woman slammed into Costa's restaurant located right here on Hurdle Avenue. You can see it's all boarded up now one day later after that accident took place. And as that restaurant works to make repairs, uh, the city council sending this letter to rural Metro demanding answers as to why it took 48 minutes for them to arrive on scene. A 90-year-old woman behind the wheel of this black Honda crashed into Costa's restaurant on Hurdle Avenue. The 911 call came in at 11.40 a.m. Firefighters arrived within three minutes, but Rural Metro was nowhere to be found for almost an hour. I don't know if Rural Metro cut back on ambulance services or they're being held up in the hospitals. It took ambulance workers 48 minutes to arrive and transport the elderly driver to the hospital. She suffered only minor injuries. Rural Metro blamed the delay on an unexpected spike in calls between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. yesterday. We actually experienced 23 active requests for service uh, within the city of Buffalo, which is um, you know, more than triple our historical call volume pattern. Rural Metro says the mutual aid system was activated in this case, but surrounding ambulance providers were also too busy to respond. Since this was a non-life-threatening call, the standard EMS response times should have been nine minutes or less. This is just the latest in a series of complaints about the ambulance company that has exclusive contract rights to serve the city of Buffalo. Last month, 7 Eyewitness News showed you this exclusive video of a rural metro crew dropping a shooting victim as they tried to load him into an ambulance. The company later apologized. Council President Darius Pridgen says he wants these problems addressed before he'll consider approving a new contract with the company. We cannot be left in a city the size of Buffalo, New York, uh, without uh, the ability to service the health needs of this community in emergency. Rural Metro tells me that their current contract doesn't contain any language as it relates to response times and that they just use their own standards to govern that as reg in regards to whether they will go ahead and go to that meeting on Tuesday. Uh, I have not heard back whether they would go to the meeting with the Common Council on Tuesday. For now, we're live on Hurdle. Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News.